hello guys and welcome to another tutorial video in this short tutorial video i'll be showing you how to send usdt from binance to the okx wallet all right so in order to send your tokens from your binance head to the wallet section at the bottom right corner of the screen from the overview scroll from there to your spot of funding depending on where you have your usdt so once you've taken note of where your usdt is and how much usdt you have click on the withdraw option once you've selected withdraw Simply search for USDT and click on USDT, click on send via crypto network. Now you're met with the option to provide an address, a network, and a minimum amount. Uh, use the network option to check how much uh, each network is costing for its uh, withdrawal fees as well as the minimum withdrawal. The cheapest for withdrawing here we have is the AVAX C chain, Optimism, and some other networks. So we're going to be going with the Optimism network. Click on Optimism. And then you're asked to provide an address as well as to enter the minimum amount. So minimize and then open up your OKX wallet. Make sure you're on the OKX Web3 wallet. So head over to the Web3 section. Once there, scroll through and use the search icon at the top to search for USDT. If you can find it manually, search for USDT, click on USDT. And uh, the feature of the OKX wallet is it has its networks at the top of the screen. Uh, with a simple scroll, you can find Optimism Network we're looking for. So scroll through and click on Optimism. And then simply copy the address. The address is here. Or you use the receive to simply scan the QR code. So once you've copied the address, head back to Binance, paste the address there, enter the minimum amount you wish to withdraw, and click on Withdraw. By doing so, you've successfully sent over your USDT from Binance to Optimism. Now, one thing to note is when you send your USDT into a, a Web3 wallet, you're going to have to provide some tokens like the Optimism token itself in order to send out of that Web3 wallet. So make sure you have that on standby. So, guys, that's how you can easily get this done. Comment down below if you have a question and you'll be given an answer. Thank you.